Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, man, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the X-Ray Zone. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe to your boy, man. I like, all I do is give you real information. If you don't believe me, go watch my other videos, man. You know what I'm saying? People come back because they know I give them real knowledge about the career, about the field. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and, you know, subscribe to it. Share my channel, man. Right now is a big deal with, you know, graduation, you know, high school graduates, you know, uh, even college graduates that they don't even know what they want to do yet. They just got their AA because, you know, they wanted to get education, but they still don't know and they're confused or they're still trying to figure out themselves. And maybe the medical field is what it is. Maybe it's radiology. You know, maybe after this video, they're like, oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. You know, so you never know. And um, yeah, guys, I'm here. And also, you know, you can follow me here. Yes, that's my Instagram, the X-Ray Zone. DM me there. Show me love. Show me some support. Also right here, man. Yeah, man, let's grow that up, bro. Let's get that to 10K. You know what I'm saying? Let's get the TikTok. It's here, man. So I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to have fun with you and, uh, and learn together. I don't know everything, but I, I've been in this field for a long time, and I give you real insight, right? So today's video, I want to talk to you on how, you know, my traveling assignments have been going, where I've been which one's the best one, which one's the worst one. And if you stay to the end, I'll let you know, like the bonuses of it. And if it's something that you should try, you know, because it's not for everybody now, you know, just because you, your travel tech doesn't mean that, oh, you know, I can handle it. It's for me. You know, it's just, it's just not for everyone. Right. So the first place I've been is just a general hospital, general hospital, um, busy. So as I've been traveling guys, I've worked in three different types of imaging centers or imaging places so the first one is general hospital your second one is a imaging center and the third one is a freestanding er all three of them are super different but all three of them have their benefits the goods the bads and i'm gonna let you know the goods the bads and which one might fit best for you if we stay to the end i'm gonna tell you why you should travel and why you should not travel. So we're going to start with the hospital. The cool thing about a hospital setting, right, is the fact that you're going to get everything as far as like your traumas, you know, your outpatient center, not, not outpatient center, but outpatients that you come, you get in, you're going to have your help. You're going to have a lot of help that, you know, most depends what shift. Okay, let's put it together. It depends what shift you work. If you work in a hospital day shift, 7 to 7, you're going to have at least two or three techs with you. If you work hospital 2.30 to 11, you might have two to three. If you work overnight, you might have one. Might. Um, but the benefits of a hospital, though, is the fact that if you're, if you're the type of person that you want to go to work and you want your time to fly by, the hospital setting is where you, ha or it's where you belong, man, because it's always like this, boom, boom, boom. And if uh, and if um, a hospital picks you up as a traveler, that means that they are busy. They're not going to sit there and need travelers for you to be sitting around. You know what I mean? So you're going to have to go in and put your work in, you know. Um, that's the difference. You get to see your trauma, man, your brain bleeds, your strokes, your, you know, MVAs. You get to see everything at a hospital setting, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? You get to learn a lot, too. You learn a lot. You learn as you go. You know, just because you're a travel tech doesn't mean that you know everything. You know what I'm saying? You're still learning. And it's nice to learn on the go and, you know, especially in bigger hospitals. The second thing is this imaging center. Now, imaging center is so different. I thought that it was going to be like, oh, yeah, they're all walkie talkies. It's easy. You know, you're going to have, you know, I don't know what I was thinking. Right. And no disrespect to the imaging centers because I had a good time. They were good to me. Um, but it was different. It was super different. You know, uh, the thing with outpatient centers is that it's kind of like an assembly line for imaging centers. Every 15 minutes, they had a patient, doom, 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 doom. And you're like, man. So in 15 minutes, they want you to start an IV because you did have text, but sometimes they weren't there. Start an IV, scan the patient. Well, start an IV, load your contrast, start a patient, do your patient, do the um, reconstructions and the CT machine. Then on top of that, do all the paperwork that comes along with that on the computer and then do that in 15 minutes. Like, honestly, that's, that's kind of semi-impossible to do. And if you are doing it, you're building anxiety because you know that 
one little mistake, which means that if you don't get the IV in the very first try, you're automatically behind 10 minutes. And in the beginning, you're like, oh, this ain't nothing. You know what I mean? But once you're in there for so long, everybody in the imaging center, everybody except x-ray, CT, MRI, CT and MRI mostly, those two are so stressed out. Anxiety off the off the roof. You know, x-rays, you know, at an imaging center, x-rays is easy because x-rays are easy. You know, chest x-ray, hand x-ray, whatever your case may be. But when you come for CT, it's more complex. And these surgeons, these doctors, these orthos, they want these different views and recons that you're not used to doing. You're not used to doing that at a hospital. A hospital is like, you know, you do your regular, you know, sagittals, coronals, um, axials, and you're done. You don't have to have no special this, do like nothing. You know, so imaging centers are more picky. And but you are going to get worked. You are going to get worked. So that is a tough place to work. But it's still doable. Good hours, you know, no overnight, you know, still work weekends. But I think they were off every Sunday. Not every imaging center is different, but imaging center is a pretty tough place to work. Now, the third one is this freestanding ER. I was excited to come here as a as a traveler because I've never worked at a freestanding ER and I heard good things about it. And let me tell you guys that it didn't disappoint. It doesn't disappoint. If you ever decide to work anywhere and you don't want to travel, pick a freestanding ER. Now, you have to be CT certified and you have to be x-ray certified because at a freestanding ER, they expect you to do both. So the cool thing about a freestanding ER, though, is that you don't get no real MVAs, no real traumas. Um, if you do get like an MVA, it's like the patient can, can walk or they can move on themselves. You're not going to get intubated patients in here because we don't have a respiratory therapist. You're not going to get no um, like real trauma, like I said, because we don't have a full surgery. There's nothing here besides like a, um, like a, like a higher level of urgent care, you know, since we have CT. Uh, but it's, it's super awesome. And I'm not even going to lie, man. Uh, a freestanding ER, like it has its moments that you get busy, you get like four or five patients. But then it slows down for like two or three hours. And you're like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting paid for this. Like, you earned it. You know, you went to school, you did your thing um and you have your certification so you definitely earned it but it's definitely a great 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 place to work so if you guys ever decide to not travel and you just want to like a a job that's like you know what i don't want to work too hard but i still want to have like the hospital benefits and still do things a freestanding er bro is where you belong for real yo so now is traveling for everybody now, that's the thing, like, traveling is not for everybody. You know, for you to be considered a traveler, you have to travel 50 miles from your home. So that's like an hour one way and an hour back. So you're on the road two hours out of the day, give or take some, right? If you can handle that, then it's worth traveling. You know, because then you keep all your stipend money, all your food, all your food allowance, and your, your paycheck. You know, it's all get you all get paid in one, but still, you get to keep everything. You don't have to worry about... I'm a travel. I got to go stay, you know, stay in a different city and do this and do that. Now I'm talking about for people that have that, that are married and you have kids like, you know, you don't want to sit there and pick assignments that you can't come home to every day. Right. But if you're single, you don't got no responsibilities at home and you're young and you got your experience and you're certified in CT and you can travel, go travel, man. Like go enjoy, go see the United States for free. Sometimes even Hawaii. Like, there's assignments everywhere, and you don't have nothing locking you down. Man, go make that money. Go explore everything you can explore because it's definitely well worth it. It'll make you a better technologist because you're going to see different things everywhere you go, and you're going to enjoy life more. You're going to feel better because when you travel, man, you know, and you see the people that work at the facilities full time, you see that you see, you can see it in their eyes, man. Like, because every place has their things, right? Not every place is perfect. But the cool thing about a traveler is that you don't get involved in that. Like you a traveler, you know, you're going to go there, you do your work for eight hours. They tell you, hey, you know, go do this. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'm going to do it. That's my job. Right. Sometimes whenever, you, you know, you, you get to see the atmosphere there and like, why did I got to do this? They, this person did this. This person haven't did that. This person only did three today. You know, like it's just you get it. You know, the, the drama you hear, you're like, yeah, 